Guess what corporation makes an estimated 1.4 billion a year off sick prisoners? Meet Corizon, the country's largest prison healthcare company. Corizon treats more than 300,000 prisoners nationwide. The word treats is used loosely. My son is incarcerated in the Arizona Department of Corrections in Tucson, contracted hepatitis C. It is damaging his liver and eventually will do the cirrhosis of the liver, go into liver cancer, and will kill him eventually if not treated. He is treatable and curable, but not receiving the proper treatment. My partner, Thomas Vogt, and he's been incarcerated here in Tucson, Arizona since 1994. He has an enlarged prostate, and there's also a growth there that needs a biopsy. Hello? We're talking about you. Did you get your pain meds yet? No. But it got the pain. I can't even sit now. They just ignore it. I cannot tell you how many of the same kinds of stories we hear on a daily, weekly basis. This is what we call malpractice in the medical field. We save money because we skip the ambulance and bring them right to the morgue. Diane Jackson, nurse at Corizon. In fact, they save so much money, they can pay their CEO nearly a million dollars. We are the industry pioneers. We are the innovators. Our team is unmatched in knowledge and passion. Six employees have resigned after two inmates at Metro Corrections here in Louisville died this year. Now, those employees are not corrections officers, but workers with Corizon, Louisville's jail health care contractor. There's no question that Corizon is profiteering from mass incarceration in this country. My son's being told they have no protocol for treating anybody with hepatitis C, so they don't have permission to even give them medicine to prevent the hepatitis C. There are no medical services being provided, in my opinion. Corizon's getting taxpayer money in 29 states, and they're vying for more. The profit motive is inherently at odds with the mission of a correctional institution. There will always be a perverse incentive not to rehabilitate, not to treat, they need help, and we can't help them. Uh, the only thing we can do is fight for them. Fight the prison profiteers at prisonprofiteers.org. Click here.